Hello YouTube, it is me, AJ Flame here, and I just with my brand new remote dual YCS mat and field center right here in full display because this mat is just absolutely beautiful. And I'm coming with you at you guys with my my uh, test hand combo video with my Phantomites profile that was released a few days ago. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'll show you guys the power of, of the many negate board that this deck can put up and how consistent you can actually make this board. Now, I just did shuffle, the, shuffle this deck up, so we're going to go ahead and see what the starting hand looks like. Tour guide, Rota, another tour guide, Ash, and Ash. Okay, so with this hand, you can go full combo into the whole utopic future and everything and i'm going to go ahead and show you that realistically all you really need for the combo is tour guide plus possibly another extender most likely a fog uh fog blade trap a phantom knight's trap would be nice uh like like a fog blade winger sword just because it is another extension in the graveyard but with tour guide and extension we can go ahead and grab everything so first off we're going to obviously go ahead and fire off rota just because to grab kagamucha knight so you can chain block well, just to make sure that your tour guide always goes through. And then we go ahead and normal tour guide, activate tour guide chain link one, Kagamucha chain link two, since they wouldn't be able to respond unless they had Velo or Imperm. Tour guide's effect will most likely go through. We're gonna go ahead and grab Graph from deck. Now this is pretty standard one, one two combo, but with having the extender, on the field like Kagemuchi Knight, it is very nice. So if you act, so it protects Chiribini from Gamma. Because once you activate, if let's say your opponent has Gamma, you know, Cherubini is on the field, you go ahead and activate Cherubini's effect. You don't want to send the graph that you have. You can go ahead and send off Kagemuchi just so Cherubini is safe. But for sake of getting through combo, we're going to go ahead and get through a we'll walk through the steps of the combo. Now, since graph was sent to the graveyard, you're going to go ahead and special summon Seer from your deck. Here and then we're gonna go ahead and activate Cherubini's effect. And the Cherubini does send for cost, so and you'll target a burning abyss and it'll gain the attack. We're gonna just go ahead and send Ancient Cloak right here. Now, since Cherubini does send for cost, your opponent cannot ash your Cherubini and dump from to the grave. Alright, from this point, we're gonna go ahead and link three into Rusty Bardish. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and activate Sears Effect and Grave, special Cherry Beanie back. The zone doesn't really matter as long as it's not into one of the zones that Bardish is pointing at. We're gonna go ahead, activate Bardish, and we're gonna send Torn Scales to the graveyard, setting uh, Shade Brigandine to the field. And since you, as of right now, have no traps, you can go ahead, activate Shade, and special it. Now, since we did have Kagamucha Knight, this is very nice, you can go ahead and just straight go into an Appaloosa for three. Now, although this this doesn't avoid Nibiru at all, this is this is most likely this is a definite game one if you are going first combo to get into uh, Draco Future, just because it is a lot easier game one and Nibiru is usually cited in a game two. So when you get game two, you can you most likely do want to opt for this route if you're going to wing first. Just because Nibiru is a very, very high chance of being sighted and high of being in their hand. And plus, if you get interrupted, you also have different routes of play, which is also very, very nice. But Appaloosa is already three monster negates in itself. And so how we're going to go ahead and continue this, we're going to go ahead and activate Agent Cloak in the graveyard, banishing it to add a The Phantom Knights card. And the one we are going to go with is Silent Boots. So we're gonna go ahead and put Sand Boots in our hand and in the grave, the effect of Torn Scales will activate. And we're gonna go ahead and special summon Torn Scales. Now, since we don't have a, a Fog Blade or a Wings in hand, we aren't gonna be able to go full power combo as we would before. And I will show you guys that right after this one because there is a difference. So we're gonna go ahead and use Torn Scales effect since we have another Ash in hand and one to return, we're gonna go ahead and discard the other Ash and we're gonna go ahead and send to the graveyard Phantom Knight of Ragged Gloves. 
Ragged Gloves is your best choice here because it's so much utility, and plus you can banish it and dump a trap card and special it from there. So you don't have to reuse because the trap card's banish effects are once per turn, and if they have a different name, you can go ahead and use that name again. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead, Special Boots via its own effect, we're gonna go ahead and overlay for our first Levy and Air. And then we're gonna go ahead, use Levy Air's effect, and Special Summon the Ancient Cloak in attack position. Uh, this is not really that important to the combo, but it does help protect your Bardish and giving it more attack points. So it is harder to run over for those decks that have that can pump out monsters that are easily over 2100 attack. So we're going to go ahead, switch Ancient Cloak Defense Vision using its effect, giving Rusty 800 attack boost. So he is at 28, 29, excuse me, at 2900. All right, and now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and activate Gloves in the Grave. Banishing it, sending wings, sending wing or sword, whichever one you play. And then we're going to go ahead, activate wing or sword, and special summon another phantom knight. Now, it could be that other one in the grave, but if for this right now, since I only have boots in grave, we're going to go ahead and special summon boots. Then we're going to go ahead, overlay again, for our second levy year, the sea dragon. And with this, we can use its effect. And I, in this case, I will use its effect. I'll go ahead. It doesn't matter which one you're detached because all the materials are gonna leave anyway. I'll go ahead and detach so I can bring a lot of ragged gloves onto the field. So we can go ahead and at least get him back to the graveyard just in case we need to go ahead and dump something again on the next turn. And plus he is another body on the board just in case some things happen and push comes to shove. And now we're gonna go ahead, overlay these two. into F0, you top of future. Since you top of future can only be summoned with two exceed monsters with the same rank aside from number of monsters, Levier is the perfect target because it also it recycles your targets in your deck and also it's just it's easy for the easy for this deck to bring out because you are running so many level threes in the deck. That is just easy. And then we're gonna go ahead uh, exceed up into future Draco. Now you can, this is also, this is another optional since you do have more Phantom Knights in the graveyard and you didn't use Boots as effect, you can go ahead and banish Boots from the graveyard. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and add a Fog Blade to hand. So in an, in an essence, you are in this board ending on five interruptions and a Snatch Steal, and a non-target Snatch Steal, which in itself is very, very good for monster heavy decks. The issue in this lies is that you don't have a spell or trap negate or an omni negate such as Dragoon because unfortunately I cannot afford a Dragoon, uh, Verite Anaconda and Dragoon by himself. If I would, I would definitely be running that and somehow end up running, making a play into it. So that would most likely be in substitute for the Appaloosa. Since Dragoon is such a very, very powerful card and you have so much in your hand left to feed it, which is very, very nice. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the full power combo with just Tour Guide and Fog Blade in hand. Most of the steps for this are the same, but there are some things that differ just because you have that other extension. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same as last time. We're gonna normal summon tour guide and get tour guide's effect off. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and bring out graph as before. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through the motions. So I won't really explain that much to you. Most of it is the same until you go up to the end. So we're gonna go for that, for the use, cherubini, and then we're gonna get seer off of graph. We're gonna go ahead, use cherubini. We're gonna send cloak. And then we're going to link off again for Bardish. And then Sirius Effect, we're going to go ahead and grab back Cherubini. Bardish's Effect again, we're going to go ahead. We're going to send Horn Scales, set Burgundine. Doesn't matter where, because you're just going to flip him back up anyways. So we're going to set Burgundine there. We're going to go ahead. Activate Shade. 
special, and we're gonna go ahead, banish cloak to add a boots to hand. And since cloak was banished, a phantom knight is banished, Torrent Scales will special summon himself. And then we're gonna go ahead and special summon Sound of Boots. And then we're gonna go ahead for an Appaloosa for three, since I do not own a Verte Anaconda or Dragoon. When I get my hands on them, then that would be in place for the Appaloosa. And we're gonna go ahead and use Torn Scales effect. We're gonna go ahead and discard this Fog Blade and send. We're gonna go ahead and send Ragged Gloves to the deck. I mean, to the deck, excuse me, to the graveyard. Right, and now we're gonna go ahead and use the effect of Fog Blade, banish it to bring back either one of these. We're gonna go ahead and go with Silent Boots for now. And then we're gonna overlay for the Levier. For the first Levier, special it, use that Levier's effect. We're gonna go ahead and detach Boots to special summon Cloak. In its position, use Cloak's effect, change to the defense, give Rusty another 800. We're gonna end the grave. We're gonna activate Ragged Gloves effect, banishing it so we can send Wing to the grave. And then once that hits the grave, we're gonna go ahead and use Wing, banish it, special boots from the grave. We are going to overlay into our Levier. Go ahead, use the effect, detach, and special ragged gloves. As you see, I did mess up here, but it is okay. We're gonna go ahead. These two are gonna go and make future, and then we're gonna go into future Draco. Now there was one thing I did mess up here. I did not account. I all forgotten that we needed another level three extender, which preferably would be Kagamucha Knight, because you go ahead and normal summon Zorga and normal summon Kagamucha, and then things would move a little differently, but most likely the same. You can st you still grab Shape Burgundy and everything, but assuming we have Kagamucha, assuming that I didn't forget that, the combo would pretty much be the same. We would make Future first because we are going to end up going into break sword and then Bardisha's effect we'll go ahead and since a dark exceed monster was special we're going to go ahead and pop break sword so we're going to pop that and then break sword's effect which will special any two phantom knights we don't we want to keep boots in the grave we don't want to special boots so we're going to special summon gloves and we're going to special summon cloak and they are both level fours i'm going to go ahead overlay these two for Dark Rebellion. And then we're gonna go ahead, activate Boots, Vanishing Boots. And we're gonna go ahead and add the Rank Up Spell Card. The, fake, the Rank Up Magic Launch. Gonna go ahead, add this to hand. We can go ahead and set this card. And since it's a quick play during our opponent's next main phase, we'll go ahead and activate it. We're gonna hit, we'll banish a Burning Abyss for cost. Well, not for cause, but we'll banish the Burning Abyss, and it will most likely be Graf. Graf is the most preferable target because he doesn't really do anything. Seer, he, Seer's pretty nice to have in the grave still. We're going to go ahead. In your opponent's main phase, you go ahead, boom, make Requiem. If your opponent Dark Rulers no more as you, use Dark Rulers no more, gets rid of all your monster effects. And in your opponent's main phase, you, after that resolution, the effect, you can go ahead and flip up this, banish, and then make Dark Requiem. You won't get the pot for, from Bardish, but you will still have at least three negates on board with the presence. Now with total, this is you do need Tour Guide, Fog, Fog Blade, or Wings, and an additional extender, or just Tour Guide plus other extenders, or just extenders in general, to finish this whole combo. But it is very, it is pretty consistent in how I've been testing it. And with a uh, friend of mine online, uh, I haven't gone to locals yet and tested it, but I will do that this coming Thursday. And it is, it's a, so it's so much fun and it does put up a very large all, negate. The only bad side is that it is all monster negates because right now we have what, three, six, seven monster negates and a non-targeting snatch seal in the form of Draco. 
So it's very nice because you could go ahead and snatch your dragoon. Like if they activate, uh, let's say you go, okay, uh, Opelousa in the gate, and they have dragoon, and like, no, I need that effect. Like uh, dragoon, I'm like, okay, uh, future Draco, detach left ear, uh, negate steal, and it is non-targeting, which is the best part. So you can take the dragoon, and then you go ahead, okay, draw for turn. Draw whatever, I don't know. Okay, in this case, it's Rota, it's whatever. And then you go ahead and just attack for game with their own Dragoon. I'm not 100% sure if you can use this pop effect. I believe you can since it, I believe you can since it was properly summoned, but do not quote me on that. I'm not a judge. I don't really 100% know, but I believe you can as long as you have the discard fodder to use that discard effect. And I believe you still do get that negate if it is not a permanent negate. I need to read this one more time. Yes, it is negate the activation and then control it. And it's also very nice. Future Draco cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect. So Draco can't really destroy it, honestly, which is very, very nice. So as long, so me being unable to be destroyed by battle or card effect, you mean the only way you get rid of it is by banishing or sending, which is so, 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 so nice. But that is the combo video but i think well, i'll try and in the future get gameplay with this recorded so i can go ahead and post it on the channel so you guys can go ahead and see how it is to play with this and the exact thought process i go through i'll either do that edit uh edit it through with commentary or just do that raw edit, or that raw footage right there i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i will figure it out but uh, go ahead leave a like like comment subscribe share with your friends and until the next one this has been aj flame thank you guys for watching